Why did he start singing Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Why did he start singing Fresh Prince of Bel Air? <laughs> because the localizers are having a fun day. <laughs> because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. Whoa! Oh my and god! It's penalty. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it's not as bad as her dad, who was just like, get rid of the, the whole bar. bar. <laughs> <laughs> In 1972, a cracked out clown. You Wait, was that was that A team? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't commit. These clowns prom promptly escaped from maximum security clown car. Mr. Curls, are you reciting the C-Team theme to anchor this court? <laughs> C-Team? As opposed, yeah, they're, they're the C-Team, man. They're not the A-Team, okay? Well, the, so the so the then the intro- Because they're all clowns. <laughs> yeah! Hello, everyone. KVTV on the side, and welcome back to Case 3, Justice for All. We have Mo the Clown on the stadium- uh, not stadium, on the podium at the moment. On his uh, second Clown Adelphia, born and raised in the circus, is where I spend most of my days chilling out, clowning, and relaxing all cool. <laughs> and I don't know the rest of these lyrics, so that's where I'm gonna stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's just uh, putting out a lot of sitcoms from the 90s, too, while we're at it. Yeah, I can get genuine laughs out of people, you see? You see? The A team a sitcom? The A team was not a sitcom, no. Oh. Stuff from the 90s. Or the 80s, I don't know anymore. Anyway. You are now- Yeah, sorry. Excuse me, I'm trying to learn court etiquette. I'm trying to not make jokes. Uh-huh. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only have belonged to Max. Oops. Oh, pushing the wrong buttons. There's no doubting it. Especially since I saw his uppity symbols. His silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there. Uh, where's the white rose? I mean, he's literally facing away from me, so I can't see the rose because they're usually in front of him. Well, that means you're wrong. Well, <laughs> there were. You can't really say that, but all right. His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. Wait, is it? Okay. I have problems with the picture the game just showed us, but all right. Anyways. Book was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It's the kangaroo court, everyone is idiots. Like, can someone just ask about his face? <laughs> I know, right? I don't know, I'm not to get this fact straight. That's what I did. This should finally be good enough, yes. It is decisive testimony. Was Max really at the, c the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. All right, Mr. Wright, commence your cross-examination. Okay, I think I already know what we need to do anyway. I don't think we even need to press on anything, because, like, he only saw two of the three things, so how can you be sure? All right, so do we, we press on the symbols then, right? Or do we present the symbols? Hold on, let me see. Here, this one. I think this is... We need, I think we need to present something here, because he only... He smenched... There are three symbols, and he's only listed two, so I think, we right, just, so... I think we just need a straight-up present here, honestly. So what do we present? Uh... That. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Right, yeah, the easy. flavor text, yeah. I was reading the flavor text, yeah, that one. You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols? I suppose so. I still count in the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? <laughs> yeah! Everyone get ready! All together now! Silk hat! Silk hat, cloak, white, white roses. roses! Blue roses! What the- Who said blue roses? I- because I like the color blue. And I've been living in this courthouse for the last five days. Uh, somebody go help this guy. <laughs> I can't. My feet are stapled to the floor. Uh-huh. Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? He saw what he saw. He saw the symbols. 
He just forgot to mention one. That's right, Mo. The dogs agree. Do you like pie? I love pie! 3.14 Silence, fool! You are to respond with the whole truth, no factions! <laughs> order! Order! I don't even know that one. <laughs> Do you like, like is... pie? <laughs> this. He's been doing like show intros this whole time. What is that one? I think it's just pie. That. I think it's literally I think, just. I, I, I think it's just a joke on pie. pie. Yeah, I think it's just a joke on pie and and the equation pie. <laughs> Consistency game. No, there's no. Is it show intros or is it just clown puns? Look. Both. Yes. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. It was dark. It's obvious too. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. It was snowing. Then the roses must have fallen off and defended the of the victim. Well, they would have been left at the crime scene. If that was the case. Then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Really not. He's just toying with his cut. Are we? I got her on the ropes now. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trilo's testimony? No, not really. I'm trying to, like, phase it all out, you know? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trilo saw them. Trilo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Rubble, 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 rubble. Ooh. Hmm. Now what am I supposed to think? What is supposed to disregard the pointless but this? That's yeah, forget the roses. Think about this other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximin in Galactolite. Galactolite? Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this case up now. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> That's the sound of desperation there, Von Karma. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. Wow. What the <laughs> hell? Mature. Judge, his job is literally to be a clown. Screw you. I'm just like, man, why aren't you insulting Trillo more? Like, hello? I've yeah. come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. That. If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance! Is it though? There's still another day of investigation. <laughs> the silhouette oh, part two. That. Well, too bad. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind! There were no white roses that night! However, all of the other symbols were there! I'm equally sure of that! Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Okay, why was it dropped at the scene then? Yeah. Mr. Rife, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance? I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against the witness. So we're, we, we can't, I think, we, so is that, are you telling me I can't press? 
If you are going to prove to me there's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. Only got a single shot at this. I've got to be careful. Okay. So my, un my understanding is we can't press anything and we only have one testimony that we can present something. <laughs> I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. That's This is how I'm reading it. So... Find something judge. to present something. <laughs> judge, this witness might not be reliable. Also, judge, don't badger him. <laughs> All right, well, he clearly believes that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's the last statement we want to do evidence on. Mm -hmm. Especially the silk hat, there's no way. Okay. Yeah, I think okay, it's that's this not statement. possible. Yeah, it's definitely this statement. I guess because we're if gonna... he was wearing it the entire time, why do we have it? Yeah. I think we gotta go with... We'll be fine. We'll be fine. The music stopped! We'll be fine. This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma, where exactly was the silk hat found? I still always ask these questions. It was found at this crime scene. <laughs> yeah! He's rendering. The, 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 the c c crime scene? That <laughs> means... I'm glad you caught up with the rest of us. <laughs> the silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. No! That's not true! Was he just doing a Star Wars thing? <laughs> order! 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 Mr. Curls? Y yes, Your Honor? What is the meaning of all of this? I am now yelling in caps! You are old enough to know better than to behave like this Why in court! Why is the judge so mean to Mo? <laughs> yeah, that's just not right! That's so harsh! What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Oh my god. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? The clown kill your goldfish? I know, right? I'm just like... <laughs> Does the judge have something against clowns? <laughs> he just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory! They're both great! Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting above me, and no matter how old I get, I'll always be younger than you! <laughs> <laughs> Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls! Who do you think you are? Younger than no, you, you have seen much. worse people on the stand than him. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, I, I saw I... him! I swear it was him. It was Max. I yeah, I'm convinced at this point the judge had like trauma from a clown or something. Yeah. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little kid. Pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there. He. Left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? Oh shit, right, there were no footprints. What? He, uh, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that! Objection. Yes, I can! Mr. Felix Wrong is badgering the witness, Your Honor! Objection. This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. <laughs> <laughs> he just writes a version of saying, Shut up! <laughs> You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't fuck with me like I'm a little baby! 
besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? He's got legs, doesn't he? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you'd say. You you sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter his story as to how the criminal left the scene? What is with we the judge today? We have a picture. What is with the what is with the judge today? <laughs> It's just very mean spirited. Just, this, like, this, he hates I, which everyone. is weird. Which is really weird. Maybe he's just also maybe he's just as tired of this case as the rest of us, honestly. <laughs> anyway. We have a picture where there are no footsteps leaving. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Ay 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 ay! Is that Power Rangers? That now? was Power Rangers. Yes, that was Alpha Five. <laughs> so, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he. Uh, Your Honor. This witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. Yo, what the <laughs> judge? <laughs> I'm just being a petty little jerk. Wait just a second! You guys can just ignore everything I've said! Fine, fine! I'll tell you the truth this time! D D Mo! How many testimonies before you actually said the truth? You wait a second! I think you've said more than enough for today! I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways! I'll give you the real deal this time! I swear! I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. Mr. Lawrence Curls? Yes? The testimony you've provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false! I haven't lied! It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bitter route about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Aunt Karma and her whip told me to not talk about what I really saw! Oh! So it's Fran's fault. Yeah, it's Fran's fault. Order! Order! I will have order! In caps! Francesca von Karma, how could you? Don't curtsy at me! Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have the exact same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. I, I really think the judge is just tired of this case. <laughs> <laughs> now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw, Mr. Curls. You're not gonna believe this, but it's all true. I tell you. I'm not to waste my time with your idiotic riddle. He flew is probably what he's going to say. The truth. But you went back to his Oh time. god, now the song! <laughs> Now it's time for our next segment, Monos! Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth! When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down, and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw... He... Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god, the Photoshop layer, it's moving! Whoa! <laughs> that looked so much like someone on a wire. <laughs> exactly. That looked so much like someone on a wire. That was hilarious. <laughs> Which he oh died on the god. way back to his home planet. <laughs> I must go now, my sweeties. My planet needs me. <laughs> This is the truth now! Get ready for it! 
He was abducted by a UFO! I'm sorry, what? I, do, do you see the tractor beam in this picture? I don't see beam. any picture, sir. <laughs> Are you doing all right? No, no, it's fine. No, no, okay, hang on. Sorry. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Oh. Rubble, rubble? Well, that was... Um, how do you put this into words? Maximin Ingratonite is a woods class magician. But to leave the scene the crime by flying... There's no way that actually happened. You... You're right! Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why don't you believe me? Especially since it's the best part of the story! Uh, to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? I think him flying is correct, I just don't think it's Max. This is all a dream, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's telling the truth, but I... Well, I mean, usually these testimonies always go with he's telling the truth. It's just a matter of what he saw isn't what he thinks he saw. Uh-huh. I mean, he's telling the truth. We just don't know how it lines up. It's not his eyes are playing tricks. He wouldn't be this committed to it if his eyes were just playing tricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just he's telling the truth. It's, it's obviously he's telling the truth. What, he's, what he just said was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he is telling the truth? That's what I think. Nick, wait! That means that Max actually used magic! Yikes, you're right. Ow! Only a foolish looking fool could be fooled by such a foolish, foolish, foolish dream. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. Okay, hold up. Magic doesn't exist. But spirit challenge But does. you studied the crane technique, which does exist. <laughs> Fran, I need you to get your story straight. <laughs> I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. All right, head the on. You imbecile! Excuse me, I would like you to refrain that. If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Carbo's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Yes. Unless I will conclude today's proceeding at this point. It's an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, uh... <laughs> I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. I can't believe we're going to another day of this. Goodness. Wasn't this only the first day of trial? That's why I said I can't believe we're going for another day of this. <laughs> December 29th, 2.33 p.m. District Court, uh, Defendant Lobby Number 5. Are we going to leave this man with cards, or do, no, or do I no, keep talking? No, no, keep reading. We're not leaving. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, sweeties, what in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's it's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hose me through the air. 
Wow! You just told me the secret to your magic! Oh, my, uh... Oh, I broke the first rule! The cardinal rule! The only rule! I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> we made you break a magician's creed to never reveal the secret to their tricks. <laughs> Nick, what do we do now? All we can do is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea! Let's do our best and catch this sucker! Okay. okay. Alright, we just I have to remember that, that every. Way. I have to remember that every time he has the running mascara, slip to, uh... Country slip Bumpkin. Country Bumpkin. <laughs> slip to Bumpkin. December 29th, 3.03pm, uh, right in Cole offices. Cohen Wright. Cohen Wright. Uh, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. That's okay. why they're magic tricks. <laughs> magic <laughs> That's tricks? the point. Yep. Magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They, they do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but... The trick Pearly showed me was incredible! Pearl's did a magic trick? Hmm. What kind of trick was it? Oh dear. Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Oh, oh my god. That. <laughs> <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? Whoa! Whoa! You can do how'd you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician! See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Yeah, he has a point. I literally just did that trick in front of my face right now because I was like, you know... <laughs> this is one of the easiest things to do. Yeah, I did it too. <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> Charlie, a quite decorative plant. Nick, you've been watering the plant every day, right? I've been thinking about watering it too. Why, uh, we don't want to drown poor Charlie. But he'd get bigger. He would that's, die. That, that's not how that works. Do you want to get accused of murder again? <laughs> Officer, there off? she is. She killed a tree. <laughs> she killed Charlie! Not Charlie, no! Does she want the office to look like a tropical rainforest or something? You're also not going to get a tropical rainforest from one plant. I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking... Do you really think the criminal flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says he that he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? If that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that. Max! No, because now we already know the trick, Maya. Anyone can do it. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Also, like, you went to a circus? The circus of th four people, apparently? There's gotta be more people at the circus. <sighs> Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trillo, Mo. They all have nothing nice to say. Well, I, I, I hate to break the illusion for you, Maya, but I'm pretty sure Ben and Trill are the same person. <laughs> what? No. Really? That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like, customers only go to the circus to see him. He even hit Ben over the head with a bottle. But... But what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. And it was proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume. 
But Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. Ain't that a tr ain't that the trick right now? What? She just said Mo clearly said she he saw Max himself, but we just went over the fact that he didn't see Max himself because of Mo's testimony. He would just say, "I saw Max." Short term memory. <laughs> Uh, December 29th, detention center, visitor's room. Oh, my sweeties! Oh my god, this music is so dramatic while he's in a detention room. You might hurrying up and getting me out of this place. We're doing our best, Max. Just, just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, the great prison escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. If I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. Look, when they came here, I was like, oh boy, they're gonna make a special about me. And they're like, no, no, this guy I was like, oh. But he's <laughs> a background character, right? No, oh, please, don't be them. silly. Oh, okay. I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business, baby. Oh, thank God he's not going to throw cards. Okay, we're going to stop here. <laughs> I, uh, I, don't, I don't think the bailiff would enjoy having to clean up more cards inside the detention center, so... Uh... There's a window. I just throw them out there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna stop here, and we're gonna talk to Max in the next video. We'll see you all then.